Okay, we're going to install our exhaust manifold. I put a couple of guide studs in here to help. Um, these are embossed metal gaskets. Uh, they are kind of only go on one way. This is really easy to do. You could put the exhaust manifold on upside down if you're not careful. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. So there we're kind of on there. They have like a seal ring in here that will seal up when they get hot. It's like a piston ring almost. Get in place. They're kind of tricky to get on. A lot of guys like to anti seize these so that they don't. No, that's in the right spot. Seize up when you take them on and off, especially around these flanges because they will grow. Expand and contract is what I'm trying to say. section and my other gasket I'll have to fish in. This one's fairly new. Usually they don't come apart that easy. <laughs> okay, we'll finish putting these on. You can glue them on if you want. Usually this is just as easy to fish them in there. Be done with it. I gotta put this one in. You need to make sure it's facing because if it's like this, it could be wrong, so I have to make sure it lines up. This one comes off as well. Okay. This is a really good one because it's not Okay, we're gonna put the manifold. Take the center section first and work your way out. Like I said, this is kind of important. Otherwise you'll get sauce leaks. And it's gonna leak a little bit because of the design of the three-piece manifold until it warms up the first time and it will seal up. Also we've got our turbo drain line here. So that's gonna come up over here into the turbocharger. Okay. I'm gonna put our turbocharger on. Here's it's a metal gasket. Those can typically be reused if you want. Check our in play in here. See that moves a little bit, that's okay. That's pretty normal. Spins, you don't feel anything hitting. Okay, Goes like so. This gets tricky. You can actually put the manifold on upside down if you're not careful. I've done it a couple of times. Then the turbo starts looking funny, and you're going, hmm. Way to tell is to look and see where the turbo drain line is. This originally had flange headed bolts on it that are nuts that are missing. I'm not going to be able to get a regular socket in there, so I'll just use a wrench. Regular hand wrench it is. Ratchet wrenches are sure nice, but they don't fit it. Right. 
you can re-clock these turbochargers if you have to, this clamp right here. Um, you loosen it and you have to pry it off. It's a V-band clamp. That's how it's designed. Ouch. Turbochargers are kind of a pain because they're usually hot when you're doing this. Especially in the field. Okay, we're gonna hook up the turbo drain line. It's got a gasket that goes in here. Essentially right there. I get my bolts in there. This is kind of a notorious leak spot. This is a better drain than most. Easiest way. Socket with an extension on it. Just start in there. Same thing over here. Make sure. Get it started correctly. Oops. Foot pounds and okay, we're gonna put our turbo feed line on here. Uh, somebody took this fitting out, so we gotta put it back in. Probably should put some pipe dope on. This isn't the right fitting. This is one I had to rig up because the old one got stripped out. But your feed's always going to be on the top and your drain's always going to be on the bottom. Okay. This has a funky kink in it. Really, this needs to be replaced. Period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay. This is going to go in here. It's a GIC fitting. Is it the swivel and all that fun stuff? These are tricky to they'll strip easily if you're not careful with them. You want to make sure it's right in between the two manifolds. If it's touching anything, you only want it touching the cold side of the turbo. This is where it gets oil from, is off the oil filter housing though. Turbo drain into my block there. Did not do that yet. I did tighten up the feed line to the turbocharger. I don't know. See, this is a reusable line, so one thing I'll be able to do here is hold the as a backup so I don't round it off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my boot on here. Get a hose hook and helps pull it on your, your fittings. Got this one. I'm gonna have to start this side first, I think. Right. Also be a breather tube coming off here, that'd be your snot tube or your road graft tube that uh, you see a lot of white smoke cuffing out of those if the engine's got high blow-by to it. Mostly putting this on here just to plug up holes. 